adding clip art effects into your text graphics for t-shirts, hoodies, and the like is a super easy way to incorporate mixed media in different dimension in your designs, which can then yield higher profit opportunity. In this video, I'm going to show you using CADWorks Live, a free online design software, how you can create really cool, unique effects, especially the one that was seen in our 21 Looks series, where we did a really cool knockout effect using our glitter CAD cut patterns and our CAD cut metallic too. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. All right, so this is CADWorks Live. If you're not familiar with this artwork platform, um, you can find a lot of tutorials throughout our YouTube channel. So I definitely urge you to do that, especially if you are just beginning um, in artwork. This is a really great platform for that. All right, so like I mentioned, we are going to be creating that uh, really unique knockout effect that allowed us to do that cool mixed media effect in our 21 look series using those glitter patterns and our CAD cut metallic. All right, so first step is to decide which text you are going to use, All right? So we are going to go ahead up and select add text. And this is where you're going to be able to start customizing whatever you want the graphic to say for the piece of apparel you are printing. All right, so right where it says your text, you're gonna um, go ahead and type in what you want there. So the first word that I wanna add is you. And I'm going to change this font to the um, Averta regular, right? So I'm going to select that and select OK. And that is going to drop it into my design space. There is more that I want to add to this. So I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate so that I don't have to repeat all of those steps. By duplicating, that is, um, making a second version of the first thing that I created. And now I have the ability to just go ahead and um, change the word, but the font and the sizing and everything remains the same. So I'm just going to create that. Um, and for my character spacing, I'm going to increase this so that it matches the width of the U portion of this design. All right, so in character spacing, this is going to increase um, about 0.2. That's just going to add space in between each letter. The reason I'm doing this is because I want it to have kind of like a square look to it. Whenever I'm good with that, all right, so these are a lot closer in width now, right? And now what I'm going to do is duplicate one more time so that it already adds my text there for me. And then I'm going to type in the last piece of my graphic here. So it's gonna say, you are golden. And for this, I actually wanna to change to a script font. Um, and we're gonna go ahead with ball pen regular. I'm going to remove that character spacing so that it looks like it's all together there. And I'm going to increase this so that it's a bit bigger. Okay, so once you are happy with your text, go ahead and make sure it's all centered and exactly where you want it to be because we are going to group this together. How you group this together so it reads as one image is by going to shaping and selecting condense, right? So now it's all together. I'm not working with three different pieces here. Now to add in the clip art, all I have to do is go to add clip art where we have a variety of different pieces that you can use. And I'm going to add a star to this. And it's going to bring up a variety of different stars for me to choose from. Let's see, let's go with this one, it's pretty standard. All right, I am going to change the color of this so it's not the same color of the 
text that I'm working with. That way I can just tell what I'm doing here as I'm manipulating this and changing it throughout the design um, to see how I want it to be. So I want to make sure that it is exactly aligned the way I want to. For me to be able to see that best, I would prefer this to be in the back. Um, I do want my star to be a little bit bigger, so I am going to select that and just drag and drop until I am happy with what I'm looking at. Now I'm going to select both images and I'm going to go to align and then select center middle. All right, with that as is, I do want to increase this a bit more. So I'm just gonna drag and drop. All right, I'm pretty happy with where that is as it stands. So the next step is to duplicate my star. So I'm just gonna hit Control D on my keypad there and just take that over to the side. Now what I'm going to do is select these two images and go to shaping and back minus front. What this is going to do is take the text and punch it through the star. Okay, so when I look at my wireframe, you'll see that the letters have completely punched through that star and now we are not layering at this point. Now what I want to do is create a void area for the text. Now before I drag my second star over to complete this effect, I'm going to change the color. I'm going to drag that over and make sure it is center with my other star. And I can do that by having that selected and then selecting the gold one with it and then going to align and center middle. That is going to align the stars. Then I'm going to drag those back up until they are aligned with my text as well. Now I'm going to take the gold star and remove that completely and do my last back minus front with the text under the shaping tab. And now we have that really unique knockout effect that you can create so easily in CAD Works Live. Now all you have to do is select which CAD cut materials you wanna use in this really cool effect, mixed media design. For more information on how to get started with CADWorks Live, visit the links in the description. And to check out the video for the 21 Looks project that this was inspired by, visit that link in the description as well. And as always, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.